Good morning, angels, and welcome to my Christian Girl Autumn morning routine. Not every morning looks like this, but this morning was the perfect morning for an autumn morning routine with Jesus. I got up around 6 a.m. I've been loving a 6 a.m. wake up. Then I made my bed. I love making my bed right when I get up. It's such a good habit. Like I know when I haven't made my bed and I just feel off because I'm so used to it by now. Next thing I'll do is go to the bathroom to brush my teeth and wash my face. This face wash is from Dime Beauty. It's their gentle jelly cleanser and I absolutely love it. After brushing my teeth, I'll head downstairs to drink some water. I've been developing this habit of drinking a tall glass of water right when I wake up to up my water intake for the day. My goal is 20 ounces every single morning. This is a really great habit that I want to keep being consistent in. After drinking water, it's time for some holy juice. That is coffee. It is a Jesus and coffee kind of morning. I just took a Nespresso pod, added some Chobani non-dairy creamer with oat milk and some cinnamon to my frother. It was pure perfection and such a yummy way to start the day. Now, if you've been in this community for a while, you know the drill right about now. It is now time for my morning Bible study. I grab my Hosanna Revival Bible, my journal, a couple of Mr. Pen highlighters and pens, and went to a cozy spot in the house to do my morning quiet time. This is a time where I take 15 minutes to start my day with Jesus. I read a couple verses in the Bible. I take time to journal my thoughts and just be still in the presence of God. Today I wanted to check out what we are reading in the tree, so I decided to follow that plan. You can join us in the description below, but I love this resource so much for making reading the Bible a daily habit and something that is not so overwhelming or intimidating. You don't have to read for an hour every morning to have an efficient Bible study time. Even 15 minutes starting your day in the Word will make the biggest difference. And once you start making this a part of your morning routine, you will never want to go a day without it. This morning I was just journaling about letting go of my plans and surrendering them fully to God and allowing him to lead me on the path that he has for me, which isn't easy. But there's so much strength in our surrender. In this season, I want to lay down what my will is for my life and really focus on pursuing his will and living out the purpose that he has for my life. After Bible study, I put on a workout outfit and moved my body. Some days I will go to the gym or a Pilates class, but other days I will just go on a walk. This morning I decided to go not on a hot girl walk, but a holy girl ball walk, hello, to get some fresh air and talk to Jesus. Toby also loves these mornings. He is seriously such a cutie. The autumn air this morning was crisp and the leaves were rustling through the trees. It was the perfect autumn morning. I also love praying during these walks and just talking to God like he was on the walk with me. During my prayer walks, I'll lift up my needs for the day and thank God for the many blessings he has given me. After moving my body, your girl is usually hungry, so now it's time to make a healthy breakfast. I find that the days I am not feeling myself with a good, healthy breakfast, I feel more sluggish and don't have as much energy for the day. So I always make sure to have a healthy breakfast at the start of my morning. Today's recipe is pumpkin pancakes to get in the fall mood. And they take 10 minutes to make, which is such a sled. In 
to spice things up, I made an at-home pumpkin cream cold brew, which is super easy to make too. As I am sitting and eating breakfast, I will typically check notifications, respond to any messages, and get back to people. This is also a great time for me to plan the day. I will go on my Notion and plan my top three priorities for the day. The rest go on my to-do list that I focus on when I need a break from the big tasks. But planning my day is so important for a productive work day. I didn't always take vitamins because I didn't really know which ones to take, but now it is an essential habit for me to take my vitamins right after breakfast. My current favorites are AG1 Daily Greens, AG1 Vitamin D3 K2, and Ritual Women's Multivitamin. Also, this is not a night routine, but taking magnesium at night is so good for your sleep, and that is another supplement I take every single day. When I throw on sweatpants and don't really get ready for the day, I never feel my best. I love the mornings where I actually wear makeup and get ready and put on a holy girl fit. I took a shower and did my skincare routine. Right now, I only do three steps. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin C serum, and a moisturizer. The hyaluronic acid and vitamin C serum from Skin Farm are both so incredible. I would really recommend those products. You don't need a million steps in your skincare routine. And this one has really been working well for me. I also put on a Holy Girl Fit. Modest but fashionable outfits are always a sleigh. I love this off the shoulder top from Abercrombie. It is giving Holy Girl Fall. I did some light makeup. also went over my hair with my Dyson for that fresh blowout look. I seriously love my Dyson and use it every day. I know it is a splurge, but I seriously think it is worth the investment. The earlier I start my work day, the better. I like getting to work by 9 a.m. I work from home, so sometimes it is hard to be productive, but I have found it to be super useful to time block my days. In a typical work day, it is so important for me to take breaks and give my brain some time to breathe. To make these breaks productive, I will do something useful with the time instead of just scrolling on my phone. So taking out the dishes from the dishwasher or doing a load of laundry or even going on another walk to get some fresh air all help my brain take a break. It is so important to take breaks throughout the day so you can have the energy to finish your work day strong. One thing I love to do in my morning is get out of the house and go to a coffee shop. I'm going to get a PSL at the well. I'll have that half sweet with oat milk. Did you want 12 or 16 ounces? 12 ounces would be great for here too. Thank you. Can you tell I love coffee by now? I am convinced Nashville has some of the best coffee shops around. Today, I decided to go to the Well Coffee House and get myself their version of a PSL which is a pumpkin spice latte. I also got some work done here as well. Alrighty, that concludes the end of my Christian Girl Autumn morning routine and the daily habits I am focusing on to grow closer to God and reach my full potential in Him this season. I hope this inspired you to have a cozy fall morning routine with Jesus and prioritize your relationship with God this autumn season. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for all the Holy Girl fall content coming up. I love you guys so so much and Jesus loves you more. Thank you for watching.